Hi, Mr. Corsi here. In this question, we've got a graph showing the cost of a couple of journeys in a taxi. And the cost depends on the distance that the taxi has travelled. So for instance, point A here represents a journey of 8 miles with a cost of £14. Now normally we have an X axis and a Y axis. In this case, we've got a D-axis and a P-axis for distance and the cost. So point A has two coordinates, a D-coordinate and a P-coordinate, where D is 8, distance is 8 miles, and the cost P is 14, 14 pounds. So 8, 14 for the coordinates of this point. And point B represents a journey of 12 miles, so the D-coordinate is 12, and the P-cost uh, coordinate is 20. So there's the two points with their coordinates. And we're asked to find the equation of this line in terms of P and D. So I'll give you a method of doing this and then if it's not a familiar method you could move towards the end of the video and I'll show you another method of uh, finding the equation. But the method I'm going to show you is using the formula y minus b equals m x minus a. And that's the form, that's the equation of a line which has a point a, b on it and has gradient m. So a point on the line is a, b and the gradient of the line is m. Of course that supposes that your labels on the axes are the familiar x and y, not the d and p. So what I'm going to do is derive the equation of this line and then at the very end we must remember instead of x and y to use the variable letters d and p. So replace x by d and uh, y by p. So let's move forward to this. So point on the line. Do we have the coordinates of a point in the line? Well, we've got a choice, 8, 14 or 12, 20. Let's use 8, 14. So that's A and B, 8 and 14. Gradient, do we know the gradient of the line? No, well, we'll need to work that out. The gradient equals M, which is, let's look at this triangle. And we know that gradient is the distance up or down divided by the distance along. So how far do we go from a height of 14 up to a height of 20? It's the difference between 20 and 14. That's 6. So that's the y difference, if you like. And you probably know this as y2 minus y1. And then we need to look at the x difference, x2 minus x1. So how far along have we gone from 8 to 12? That's the difference of 4. So 12 minus 8. So we've got 6 over 4 which cancel by 2, 3 over 2 for the gradient. So we're well on our way. The equation, but remember this is in terms of x and y, not d and p, is y minus b with we know that b is 14, or that's the one we're using. The gradient is 3 over 2. x minus a is the x-coordinate of the point we're using, which is 8. So let's get rid of these brackets. y minus 14 equals, multiplying out, 3 over 2 times x. And then 3 over 2 times negative 8 will be negative. 3 over 2 times 8 2 into 2 is 1, 2 into 8 is 4, 3 4 is 12. That gives us 12. If you like, it's 8 lots of 1 and a half, which would give you 12. Let's add 14 to both sides. Negative 12 plus 14 is 2. So there's our equation. Another version without the fraction, if we double everything, both sides, double all the terms, 2y, we double 3 over... 2x would give us 3x, and double 2 would get 4. So there's another version of it. So finally, the equation, and this time is what uh, the question asks in terms of P and D, is Y, sorry, not Y, uh, Y has to be replaced by the variable 
capital P. So P equals 3 over 2 instead of X. I use lowercase d for that one. 3 over 2 d plus 2. Or 2p equals 3d plus 4. So either of these versions is OK. So that's part A. Let's look now at part B. Calculate the cost of a journey of 5 miles. Well, for a journey of 5 miles, d is equal to 5. So that's the situation we've got when d is equal to 5. And we're asked to find p, the cost. So p, we know, is 3 over 2 times whatever the journey distance is, uh, which is 5. So we need to work this out. So 15 over 2 plus 2. Now 15 over 2 is 7.5. That's 9.5. So the cost is 9.5 pounds. £9.50. So I said previously that I'd show you another method of finding this equation. Let's do that. Um, and in this case, let's just use y equals mx plus c. And again, that's assuming your axes are labelled x and y. So how do we use that? Well, again, it's the gradient that we'd need to find. Gradient m is equal to, so we've already worked that out in the previous one, but it's the y difference, 20 minus 14, over the x difference, 12 minus 8. So that's 6 over uh, 4, which is 3 over 2. So we now know that the equation of this line is y equals 3 over 2x plus c, and it's c that we don't know the value of. So what we now do is we use one of the sets of points. Let's use 814. It's on the line. So we know that x is 8. And again, I'm using x and y, not uh, p and d for this. And we'll change them at the end. So x equals 8, y equals 14. So let's substitute these into this equation. So that gives 14 being 3 over 2 times x is 8 plus c. And you notice the only thing we don't know is c, so we can now work out its value. 14 equals 3 over 2 times 8 is 12. Take 12 from both sides. So 2 is equal to the value of c, i.e. c is equal to 2. So the equation is y equals 3 over 2x plus 2. In terms of p and d, we've got p is equal to 3 over 2d plus 2, which is what we had before. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out, and thanks for watching this video.